And as Bob just reported, investors here and in Europe are keeping watch over what happens with Volkswagen. The scandal has widened to include more than 11 million vehicles. And as Phil LeBeau reports, there are now questions about the future of the automaker's CEO. As the scandal involving Volkswagen's emissions and diesel deception continues to grow, so do the apologies coming from executives with the German automaker. The latest coming today from CEO Martin Winterkorn. Winterkorn himself is the subject of a lot of debate right now about whether or not he will retain his job. His current contract is up on Thursday, and many are questioning whether or not he will keep it. One German newspaper says that his contract will be terminated. Volkswagen responded to that report, calling it ridiculous. But we do know that the VW board is meeting this week, discussing Winterkorn's future, and no doubt discussing what's happening with the emissions scandal as it continues to grow around the world. Earlier today, Martin Winterkorn issued a video statement in which he once again apologized for what Volkswagen has done when it comes to deceiving customers about the level of emissions in their diesel vehicles. I am deeply sorry that we have broken this trust. I would like to make a formal apology to our customers, to the authorities and to the general public for this misconduct. Also today, Volkswagen said 11 million diesel engines around the world are impacted with some type of deviation in the software. Unclear whether or not that deviation is the same type of situation as what we're seeing here in the United States with a half million vehicles that had a defeat device on them in order to get around clean air standards. Volkswagen says it will take a $7.27 billion charge in the third quarter to deal with the emissions issue. Again, Volkswagen's board meeting twice this week as the stock is under pressure, discussing the future of not only CEO Martin Winterkorn, but its next step as it tries to contain the damage from this emissions scandal. That's the latest regarding Volkswagen. Back to you.